Japan has stray cats absolutely everywhere and a lot of the time they're taken care of by a few people in the neighborhood. We got really lucky with where we moved because all of our neighbors love the local community cats and go above and beyond caring for them. One of our neighbors built a gigantic cat house outside. Another neighbor we had over for dinner and at some point he realized he forgot dinner feeding time for the stray cats so he left real quick to go back and feed them. Each of the cats around us have their own little territories where they like to hang out. The cat that visits us most frequently is Rinchan because the previous owner of our land used to feed her. We think they named her as well. Rarely we get a cute little calico that likes to hop through our grass. The pretty calico keeps coming. Hey sweetie! I tried to give her food earlier but she ran away or a Siamese that cuts through our yard. But recently, a new cat moved into the neighborhood. He's a big boy, unfixed and kind of a bully. Our neighbors aren't too fond of him since he picks on their favorite community cats. So we've been making sure to feed him and hope to catch him soon so we can fix him. I decided to name him Tombo, which means dragonfly in Japanese. He's a big boy. Huck is upset. Huck is curious. <laughs> How was it? Is it good? It's really big. <laughs> big boy. Make sure you drink the water too. <laughs> big boy. All right, bye. The little injured bully boy is asleep on our couch. He's apparently new-ish. We try to feed him a little bit food. We put some water in it to make sure he's drinking. <laughs> our cat's found the black cat. Oh, look at his eyes. <laughs> there he goes. And there goes our cats. I'll have to try to find him. <laughs> he looks happy out there. Okay, Tombo-chan is finally back and his eyes were looking worse than ever. Uh, we were kind of busy tonight, but I'm gonna try to catch him real quick because he really needs to get to a vet. In the time it took me to get outside, he disappeared. So, dang it. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see if he comes back. Yin chan showed up instead. So I had to hurry outside and make, get rid of the cat cage so I didn't catch her by accident. Tombo Chan is back. I'm gonna go to try catching him if possible. Oh, oh got him, Jun. He is so upset. I'm so sorry, baby. I don't want to put a blanket on the cage because it's really hot outside right now. Yeah, I know. So what we have to do is we have to make a reservation at a vet. So June is trying to call around and find a vet that we can make a reservation at soon. And in the meantime, no cats can resist Chudu. He needs to be fixed for sure. Oh, so angry. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go check with June. See if there's somewhere where we can take you today. He has deconstructed the cardboard. I'm so sorry, Tom. Well, I know. There's a. Yeah. Oh. I know. I know, baby. I'm so sorry, buddy. I know. 
There we go. There you go. So June called. It's going to be two days until we can take him to the vet, which means we have to keep him in a cage. I Obviously, made a reservation. Thank you. Obviously, this cage is not big enough to put a litter box in, so this is my solution for now, since I think this will be the easiest way to get him to go back in the cage when we need to take him to the vet. Okay, obviously not ideal circumstances. Um, our wooden plate for here <laughs> broke, so I just have a piece of cardboard, uh, which is obviously not sturdy whatsoever, but he is stuck in this room no matter what anyway. So even if he gets out, it's not the worst thing in the world. I just wanted a, a way for me to be able to give him some water and food for the next two days. Poor guy is very scared. I don't know if you can see he's in the litter box. So he's got food, water, litter, and a blanket that I probably won't use. I'm assuming he's gonna sleep in the litter box. I'm so sorry, baby. I was gonna cover up the glass, but I think having this blanket on here is probably good enough, as long as he doesn't get out of this net spot. It is time to take Hongo chan to the vet. He ate and used the litter box. His poos were really good, but the poor guy last night finally started meowing. I felt so, so bad because he doesn't understand why we kidnapped him. We're gonna take Tombo to the vet and hopefully we can help him with his injury. Fortunately, we don't have to wait in the car. We can just take him right up. Okay, we just picked up Tombokun. It's the same day he had his surgery. He's now fixed. He got vaccinated, got treated for some stuff, and he got tested. He does have FIV. Yeah, baby. Which is feline immunodeficiency disease. It's like HIV, but in cats. Uh, he does not have FELV, feline leukemia, which is worse. FIV is usually transmitted through deep bite wounds. So I've heard it's often the unfixed males who end up with FIV. However, it's not usually um, suggested to euthanize cats with FIV or anything. Um, obviously his immune system will be a little bit lower, which explains why he's got conjunctivitis in his eye. But he should still be fine and we'll keep an eye out on him, assuming he comes around our property again. Um, our neighbors know who he is as well, so we'll ask them to keep us updated. Clipped ear. So everyone will know he's fixed. Oh, good, I'm so sorry. We'll let our neighbors know about his results. And hopefully now that he's fixed, he won't get into any more fights and he won't transmit it to anyone else. All right, we're home. I wanna give him the option to eat if he wants. This is our outdoor couch that he sometimes likes to lay on. Yeah, yeah. Little void cat is disappearing into the blackness. Oh. oh, look at your little face, buddy. How is he doing? He seems groggy and drugged up and scared and angry and confused. At least and the hungry. surgery went well. Yeah. Why Tombo, by the way? Dragonfly. Yeah, Tombo means dragonfly in Japanese. It's a cute name. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, angry boy. Okay, okay. It means dragonfly in Japanese. So in Japanese it's cute, but he's a big boy. All of our neighbors who have talked about him have mentioned, like, have you seen that gigantic black cat? Yeah, we used to so, with Haku, but even with Haku, mm -hmm. it's pretty big. Yeah, Tombo. If you just think about it in English, it kind of sounds like the name that you would give a big cat. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave you alone now. Right, we'll keep an eye on him. Yeah. See ya.
It's been about a month since we took Tombo to the vet. He hasn't come back onto our property yet, but we have seen him around the neighborhood a few times and I've managed to sneak him over a little food that he'll eat once I back away far enough. So it seems like he's doing okay. If there's any more progress, I'll let you guys know.